The domestication of humans is not an issue of domesticity, but of the effects of the domestication syndrome on a hominin species and its genome. These effects are well expressed in the anatomically modern humans, in their physiology, behavior, genetic defects, neuropathology, and distinctive neoteny. The replacement hypothesis does not explain why natural selection failed to select against numerous deleterious genetic predispositions and defects in humans. Why brain illness etiologies suggest that they involve mostly the same areas of the brain that are the phylogenetically latest. Why other extant primates are largely, if not entirely, free of such pathologies. Why gracile humans experienced brain atrophy or any other of the many differences that set them apart from the preceding robust humans. Why we are the most biologically infantile of all the primates that ever existed on this planet. Why modern human females have lost the estrous cycle, but adopted menopause. Why nearly all the universally observed preferences in the mate choices of modern humans seem to serve no processes of natural selection. Why modern humans suffer from neurodegenerative diseases. Why humans are the only mammal for which mating partners are traditionally selected by males. In stark contrast, the domestication hypothesis explains these and many other factors of the human condition. The autodomestication hypothesis, which replaces the partially refuted replacement hypothesis, proposes that cultural practices had become so influential around 40 millennia ago that factors attributable to learned behavior influenced mate choice. Mating imperatives are culturally governed, undeniably dominating sexual choice in present humans. For several million years, the human brain size continually expanded. However, at around 40,000 years ago, it began to reduce at a rate dozens of times greater than the previous rate of encephalization. This is attributable to domestication, as are several other factors pointing to the same time frame. From 40,000 to 30,000 years ago, female skeletal characteristics became far more neotenous than those of males. Consistent selection of females based on cultural constructs of attractiveness, at is, their neotenous appearance, has two effects. It will progressively select in favor of female neotini, and such selective breeding will introduce domestication, at least partially replacing natural selection. The human self-domestication theory can be checked by various strategies. For instance, one can establish the genetic markers suggesting domestication and then attempt their detection in the genomes of extant humans while verifying their absence in pre-domestication robust humans. Mm -hmm. An alternative genetic approach to test the human autodomestication hypothesis is to detect detrimental genes deriving from domestication in robust humans. Do you want to show your research progress to more scholars? Contribute an entry that will be linked to your paper on the Encyclopedia platform, providing an opportunity for over 35,000 scholars to access and explore your research. Have you ever tried to show your latest research in a vivid way? Encyclopedia SciPlayer provides a service with which you can transfer your research to a live video format. Do you want to publish a new paper? Encyclopedia has an international, peer-reviewed, and open-access journal. Do you require a discount when you publish research in journals? Anyone who contributes to Encyclopedia can obtain vouchers for MDPI journal's article processing charges. Encyclopedia aims to create an open-access knowledge-sharing platform for all scholars. To find more information, search for encyclopedia.pub.